Hi, I'm Hunter Reese. And I'm McKenna Christensen. And we're part of the Lovewood Visual Arts Program. We're at the Fine Arts Festival, and you're watching Leopard Spotlight. Welcome everyone to our next edition of Leopard Spotlight for the 2019-2020 school year. I'm Shivani Radhakrishnan. And I'm Arya Raju. In this week's release, a teacher stays positive while fighting a disease. A longtime staff member puts the heart in one heart, one love joy. And as a special for this edition, Bradley, Jake, and Natalie sat down with a group of record-breaking students. No, you're not seeing triple. But first, a freshman balances more than your weekly workload. We've got the story. Let's head to the stage. From a young age, freshman Angelina Mapes has grown her passion for music. What started as a hobby transformed into something more. I started performing and like learning with my vocal teacher, Brielle, about three and a half years ago. It's probably going on four when we hit 2020, like around August. I started taking lessons with her and it just got like more and more and I started taking songwriting and then piano lessons and then vocal production and everything. And I just kind of fell in love with doing it. Mape's success has not always come easy, but her grit and dedication helped her create an album. Everything so far, like everything was a little bit of a struggle, but after a while you just get used to always like being on the move and always like figuring out a way to do something, like when you have limited amount of time. I just finished in the recording studio recording three different songs that I'm releasing in about two months and I'm like releasing each one of them separately. I worked with this guy, he's worked with everyone, Ariana Grande, Megan Trainer, um, Selena Gomez, uh, Beyonce. <laughs> Although Mapes has accomplished much, she didn't do it alone. She often looks to others to support her, especially her brother. Um, my brother too, he's always been amazing, I love him. She works for everything she's got. Um, she's already had like great accomplishments. All I could say is that, you know, you gotta pursue your dreams and she's doing it and she's doing really well at it. Though her love of music is immense, last year, Maeve's workload soon began to take a toll on her mental health. So it just, it got to a lot, and my anxiety got really, really bad. And I said to myself, okay, I need to, like, break it down, I need to figure out what I want to do. And so I wrote ten songs that year, but I just, I kind of always think that music has always been a part of me, and, like, there was a reason for it. And so that's kind of what always pushes me when I'm, like, at a really low point. This is Arya Raju, Shivani Radhakrishnan, and Lee Kinnabru reporting for the Lovejoy News Network. At some point in time, we all go through something that questions our ability to overcome. One of our teachers here at LHS finds himself facing another trial in everyday life, but how he carries on is astounding. Chaney and Jackie let us in. And the limit of f of x equals negative infinity as x approaches negative infinity. Recal teacher Andrew Stallings is known throughout the school for his fun and interactive teaching style. And he just makes everyone want to learn and he just engages everyone through his singing and just his goofy tactics that he uses. Behind the singing and laughter in his classroom stands a man with a past more challenging than most. After going in for a routine doctor's appointment, Stallings was sent for a bone marrow biopsy. The prognosis, stage three, multiple myeloma. Um, but it was, it was a shocker. It was a, a big shocker. I was in, immediately in denial. And my reaction was that of, of like, oh my gosh, I don't know how to deal with this. Back-to-back -back stem cell transplants compounded with lethal levels of chemotherapy were just some of Stallings' attempts to eradicate his cancer. 
my family and my friends gathered around me and supported me. Uh, the church community um, supported me and I um, um, got through it. I became a person who was walking in prayer uh, pretty much all of the time. And, um, for, you know, for strength, uh, for healing, for uh, wise doctors, <laughs> and, and to, you know, and just, you know, asking that I might be able to see my kids grow up. Stalling still continues chemotherapy treatments twice a month, but has an outlook that many envy. I feel like I would just, if I survived, I would feel more lucky just to be alive and to be able to like live my life and teach what like him. He is just so happy to teach pre-cal. He just really shows how much he enjoys life. I feel like I'm a fairly dynamic teacher, but before I had to have treatments, I was really, really like, wow, what's going on with this guy? He's just crazy dynamic, you know? And um, it has knocked me down a few notches, uh, but I still have my passion for mathematics and for teaching. This is Jackie Carroll and Janie Kelly reporting for the Love Joy News Network. Most people can list a person or two that touches their heart or puts a smile on their face. A longtime employee at Lovejoy continually turns a frown upside down and makes a difference in the lives of kids every day. Nate, Noah, and Annabeth climb aboard. John Evans, head custodian at Lovejoy Elementary and longtime staff member, is retiring this year, which marks his 23rd year with the district. The summer that I started here, they bought the land for heart, and they went in and planted sages, and then three years later, they built it. And then that's when I become the lead here. And then from there, then they voted in to, to build their own school. I mean, I've seen it grow from just one campus to what it is today. The most rewarding part of Evans' job were the relationships he built with students and staff members. They provided him with the community that will exceed long past his time with the district. Just love the district, love the people. It's more, it was more of a family atmosphere. You just build them relationships over the years. You know, you get to know them. You see them every day. You talk to them pretty much every day. It's just like Love Joy's home. He's a friend to all of us. If we need him, we text him or call him, and he's there. He takes care of everyone. He's on morning duty with us, getting the kids out of the car, greeting them every morning. Well, whatever we need, Mr. Evans is there. He's just he's he's everywhere, and he means a lot to everybody here at school. With this being Evans' last year at Lovejoy, everyone is asking the question, why is he retiring? Three years ago now, um, my diabetes, I've been diagnosed for 17 years and just progressively got worse. There's nothing that I can do about it. it you have to go through a medical exam every year. It was just getting harder and harder for me. About three years ago, I decided to opt out of driving a bus, which is a pretty hard decision. That's where my real passion was. It was the one-on-one -on -one connection you get with the kids. This is more like a connection that a teacher has in a classroom. You talk to the kids, you get to know them better. Being just a custodian on campus, I see them at lunch and I see them in the halls and all. You don't get that connection of talking to them or, and all that stuff like you do every day on the bus. I didn't know Mr. Evans when he was a bus driver, but I can imagine that he formed those relationships with the kids uh, just like he does here as our um, custodian. Um, and I, just, I think he's made a, a big impact, not only for our school, but for the district as well. His retirement's coming up and we're gonna miss him greatly. This is Noah Nadu, Nathan Fowler, and Annabeth Smith reporting with the Lovejoy News Network. Double trouble is a common saying used to describe many things, including a set of twins. What if we added a new person to make it triple trouble? Jake, Bradley, and Natalie have the answer to this question in this Spotlight's exclusive. Take a look. At LHS, there's one set of triplets in each grade. Triplets are quite rare, and having four sets at LHS, taking into account its size, is almost impossible. Bradley, Jake, and I interviewed the four sets of triplets to get a glimpse into their everyday lives. Okay, do you all enjoy the same activities or hobbies? No, no, not definitely not. Close. Uh, no. not really, no. I'm a swimmer. I all three of us used to do Taekwondo. We're all black belts, but I don't do that anymore. We all do different sports, so I would say since I play tennis, and then... I do cross country. I play lacrosse. Orchestra. We're all an orchestra. Rock band. Yeah. We all very... Okay. That's just an electronic I, orchestra. Yes. Um, do you have any triplet-related childhood memories? Yes. Okay, I have one. So we have this pond, and it's ice, 
or no, no, that's not true. It's uh, water when it's like hot, but. Well, that's how water works. Shh, 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 I'm telling the story. Yeah, that is how water works. And um, <laughs> during like, like when it would get really cold outside, the pond would freeze over. So we would go out and we would like test it to see when it would be frozen over. I would like to say that so, I am the guinea pig. Shh, okay, shh, I was the one who I'm had to go to that first. Part. So we have to have someone to test the ice to see who, if, like, if we can skate on it. So we always have. We were like, we're all trying to decide. We're like, who's gonna who's gonna test the ice? And we were like, well, Oliver, you're the lightest. So we made Oliver stand on the ice, and he like stands on it for like two seconds, and then we're like, okay, Oliver, now jump. So he jumps, and the ice breaks, and he like literally falls in this ice cold water for like 30 seconds, and then starts getting out. <laughs> so then he were like walking back, and Oliver's like, I'm gonna get hypothermia. <laughs> that does sound like something I would say. It was this whole thing. <laughs> uh. Well, when we grew up, all of our best friends were twins because my mom was part of a multiples group. So we had three sets of best friends and they were all twins. Uh, my childhood, I don't... Mm -hmm. Oh, well we would like, on Sundays we would go get donuts with our dad and then he would take us to Celebration Park. Yeah, yeah. like I remember that. And it would just be us three and him. There's plenty I gotta think of. We used of to all go to the state fair. I was gonna say and get that. corn dogs <laughs> and sit in the arboretum in the specific spot in the arboretum that I remember yeah, every time. Not you know, it, it was it's just a, like it's some a, steps. It's like this little step thing, but they, it's called the arboretum at the, the okay. fair park. But we'd all sit there and just eat our corn dogs. And I remember it every year because my parents would like bring their own bowls for the ketchup because we so we wouldn't spill <laughs> it on each that. other because we were so little. And we just like and we like, I don't ran around. So many pictures of us just sitting there, like. And we had our little like backpacks, and there. each of us had our own yeah. little. We had like these mini Jansport backpacks, and we still have purple, yours yeah, is blue, and mine's pink. And we still all have them, and we would all wear them to the state fair together, and we'd be trotting along in our little backpacks, and there's just three little ducks. What are the advantages and disadvantages to being triplets? Advantages is that we all like yeah, have each other, and you yeah. don't have to like go places alone. Yeah, like you always have like built in like someone. Oh, even just go like I don't know, like Walmart. We have each other. Like we no would... friends. We didn't need anybody else over. We just went no, out. No, we had friends. plenty of friends. We just no, we, didn't. we have our we had our own club. Like you have your two best friends with you. Advantages: we can definitely share homework. Like if we don't get something, we're all in the same classes. But we're not cheating. So we can explain it to each other. Using your resources wisely. Thanks for listening to the sit-down interview with our four sets of triplets. This is Bradley Kofal, Jake Bickrow, and Natalie McLaren with the Love Joy News Network. We hope you enjoyed these stories. Until next time, I'm Shivani Radhakrishnan. And I'm Arya Raju. And remember, if there's a story to find, we'll find it here on Leopard Spotlight.